Marlene, I know that this piece that you're standing in front of, Cherish Memories, Cherish Keepsakes, um, really reflects your personal inspirations. Could you talk to us a little bit about that? Well, I um, there are a lot of symbolism in this piece. And I, so I thought about, I wanted to reflect my uh, background of my Jewish heritage in this artwork. So I chose objects that connected what I had in my house that made me think of my ancestry and my, and my heritage. So I uh, started with the thinking of where my mother's uh, parents were from. And also now that I, I was married, I thought of partly inclu including my husband's family because now this is all about uh, bringing uh, bringing a family uh, into my life because uh, my husband being Jewish and then raising our children Jewish. So I thought it would be a piece that would um, suggest that in it. So and their objects show that and I have the continents shaped out of where my relatives and my, my parents came from. And then I put the objects nearby and I also... Can you show us that? What, what do you mean the, nearby? Well, the objects are um, the the, um, the Kiddush cup, which is um, down here, right here. This Kiddush cup was uh, my husband's uh, grandfather who bought this, the only thing he bought over when he came here um, from Russia. And this uh, Italian donkey, Sicilian donkey cart, which is in the Italy shape, is uh, from the town of where my father's family is from, Abruzzi, and I put that in. Where is that in the work? It's a little hard uh, for me to see. Right here. And this is the um, the little donkey cart right in here. And I had this for a long time in my family. And uh, it's actually in pretty good shape because it's over 40 some years old. And the, the, this book, um, uh, the book of Gates, uh, with Prayer of Gates is um, a book that was given to me in my early 20s. And I've used it uh, for holidays and different dinners to say prayers at um, for special holidays. And I know um, now that in the center of that piece is um, something derived from the family fabric. Am I right about that? Yes. So the background, um, I thought about, you know, putting this heritage in, and this also is the um, trying to interpret the texture of an old linen tablecloth that was cross-stitched with the he um, a Hebrew prayer, the blessing over the bread. And it was given to me uh, by our cousin, uh, my husband's cousin, Ivan. And he uh, didn't, he knew that, you know, of all the family that we would probably take good care of something like this because nobody else didn't seem to be interested. And I had it sitting in a box and I thought, wow, it's sitting in a box. Why, why don't I just use it for something? And it, it was um, very uh, stained, like with coffee stains and whatever they, from eating. And um, so I took the time to, and I took a comb um, and Marley. put it into the gouache paint to try to get the textures uh, of it. And it was, um, and I made it look like the thread was going through and put the shadows in it to really make it feel like a linen tablecloth. And the, the ketubah is also something that um, is my great grandmother's ketubah that was found in a box that was going to be thrown away. Oh and it had a crowning on it, and it's a r original parchment, all folded up. So my cousin must have drew on it, and um, the my um, uncle's um, n uh, new wife, who uh, my aunt had passed on, she didn't know what it was, and she was going to just get rid of it. And she asked if oh I my. should take it, and I did, and I xeroxed it and collaged it into this piece and painted into it to make it look like part of the whole image. That's wonderful. So. Let's um, now end this and go to another part of the gallery where we're going okay. to see that fabric and what you really did with it.